Hello everyone, and welcome back to another one man stream Q&A. Today's question comes from Tavison. And uh, Tavison writes, "Hello, how can I schedule or how can I schedule start streaming automatically?" And I responded back and I said, "Well, that would be very simple to do uh, by creating a shortcut in vMix." But I kind of misread the question. Actually, the easiest way to do this would be to use vMix UTC. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to vMix UTC. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use the clock widget. So all I did was go up to widget. I selected clock. And we're going to call this automations. And we're going to click the scheduler button twice. So under this first execute link we're going to put in start stream and under the second execute link we're going to put in stop stream now over here this is military time and it's 9 9 13 eastern standard time so we're going to make this 9 17 because there's a few things i need to do before we start this and we're going to set this up to start on Monday. So we're going to start the stream at 9.17 and we're going to stop it at 9.17 and 30 seconds. So let's click OK. Now we have to make us two other buttons. So we're going to go up here to hit widget and we're going to select button. And we're going to call this one start stream. And we're going to click or check the execute box and under link, we're going to type in start stream, the same thing we put in the execute link in the clock. We're going to click on script here. We're going to go to the output scripts, output functions, and we're going to, we're looking for start streaming, which is right here. So we have that one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this one. We're going to bring it down. We're going to modify it a little bit. We're going to call this one stop streaming. We're going to change the link from start stream to stop stream. And then on the script, we're going to change it from start streaming to stop streaming. So let's double check this real quick. We have this start stream, stop stream on the links. Over here, this one is execute link start stream. And this is execute link stop stream. So let's go to this view. And when this hits 917 here, we should see the stream light up here. So we're at 916 right now. And this will work for any of the vmix utc uh, output settings and you can see right there where the stream comes up it does go uh, red which is awesome so in 30 seconds we're going to see this go back off again at 21 17 30 so at 9 17 and 30 seconds we should see this stream light go back off there we go and that's how easy it is. vMix UTC, as I said many, many months ago when I started this tutorial series, it's a very, very powerful tool. And you can use it for a lot of things. You can just imagine all the different automations that you can set up uh, in here. You could set up overlays. You could set up inputs. Uh, you could set up um, lists to play automatically. I mean, the, uh, the possibilities are pretty much endless. Uh, so that's going to conclude this short Q&A tutorial for today. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. And make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. Make sure you do stop by our website, onemanstream.com, uh, where we have many of the graphics that we've made along the way, along with uh, many of the vMix UTC controllers. Uh, they're just a couple dollars a piece, and it's a way that you can help support One Man Stream. Thank you so much.